The issue concerning the bar porters, uh, whilst it has been sorted out uh, to a degree of satisfaction for them, uh, they have accepted it. The bar porters, the bartenders, we still need to sit down and have a conversation with management about uh, their roles and their responsibilities and, and what things are going to look like. What I will say also to the country is that we worked last night until about 10.30, quarter to 11 last night to get uh, part of the agreement that I'm speaking with you today. Uh, we did finish it off this morning. We spoke to the bartenders this morning, uh, their bartenders and bar porters this morning. Uh, and after speaking to the membership uh, a few moments ago, we've accepted uh, what we have done with the management team from last night and today. There are some other things that I think the country needs to be concerned about. There are so many, so many Bermudians still unemployed in our country, can't find work. And that's in, in the organizer mainly, but also people, uh, concerns that we have in some of the divisions that the BIU represents. So this comes as no surprise to the minister. I just reached out to him a few moments ago and told him that there are at least two divisions that the BIU represent within government that has some very serious concerns that needs to be addressed. Because over the past several weeks, they have been very close to dropping tools and stopping work. And that's the parks department and marina ports. So I've given the minister heads up that the, the department heads and the ministry needs to be very concerned about what's happening in those two departments. But I want to just digress for a minute because yesterday something happened that concerned me as the leader of the BIU. Too many times the BIU membership or the BIU leadership has been accused of coercing, inciting, coercing our members. Yesterday, we had a member of the public that tried to inter tried to coerce and intimidate our members. And you might be saying, well, Mr. Ferret, it's just a member of the public. No, it was no ordinary member of the public. When you have the executive director of the Middle Chamber of Commerce, which is Mrs. Julia McPhee, Said to our members to go back to work, uh, and had I not turned around because I was at the front of the line and I saw something going on, I walked back. We could have had a mini rag yesterday. And I'm not trying to over dramatize anything. But here you have a person in authority inciting workers and then they're going to accuse, I guess because, and I don't want to get to no race issue. Don't, don't want to. But guess what? For Ms. McPhee to make that kind of statement, we could have taken it that way. We were having a peaceful march. It was well organized. We were listening to what the police was telling us or whatever. And it was no need for her to do what she did yesterday. And she urged this country and our members an apology. Good morning. Less than 24 hours ago, I addressed you regarding the ongoing industrial action between the Bermuda Industrial Union and Fairmont Hamilton and Fairmont Hamilton Princess that stemmed from an employment dispute. Yesterday, I outlined that my ministry had taken steps to seek both sides and bring them together as part of the arbitration process. Granted, yesterday was a day of high emotion, with both sides seeking to get across their various viewpoints. However, today I am pleased to note that the two sides, with the assistance of government, have managed to come to a resolution which benefits all concerned. The resolution was agreed to and accepted by the BIU and the Fairmont Hamilton Princess Management, and I'm happy to note that it is anticipated that all employees, including our public service workers, will return to work later this morning. Well, I will leave the specifics of the agreement for the BIU and the Fairmont to expand upon. I would like to touch on the efforts of our government representatives who worked hard to bring this situation to a close. I'd like to thank the Attorney General Mark Pettingill and his staff and the Permanent Secretary of Home Affairs, Mr. Randy Rochester, and the Director of Workforce Development, George Outerbridge, for their work around the clock to get the two sides to the table. 
and I wish also to thank the Green family for recognizing the importance of working with us to bring this matter to a close for the good of Bermuda. Without question, this government recognizes the inconvenience that this situation caused the members of the public and to our visitors. So we appreciate their patience and understanding, during which was obviously a challenging time which saw them directly affected by the disruption of services. If anything, these past few days have demonstrated the importance of maintaining strong relationships between employers and unions, the importance of following the guidelines as set out in the collective bargaining agreements, and the importance of going through the right channels of mediation to find resolution. As he indicated yesterday, the government will always recognize the rights of the workers. However, when disputes arise, we must be ever mindful that the labor process works best when it is rooted in a collaborative effort.